Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Uh, today I'm gonna show you um, how I made a marquee. And there's a lot of variations. And from this video, I want you to just think about um, the basics and then thinking about all the infinite options you can add. So it depending also on colors, you know, maybe you can ask for kind of those that information. What is, you know, the birthday person or who the honorary the person you're gonna give this marquee this decor uh, their favorite colors favorite animals is if there is a theme for you know what is the marquee or the balloon decor or the balloon centerpiece um, this is a type of a centerpiece but actually it can be um, on the floor or a table so it, and it stands by itself and makes it big because I think of the numbers or the Mylar balloons that you can inflate and phew, it's already, you know, something big on top. So uh, there is other challenges. So this video also, I'll try to film the moment of delivering that it can be tricky if it's windy, if it's too hot. So all those things, um, yeah. So it's gonna be in pieces and I'm not an expert this is something I do because I'm a balloon twister and balloon decor a lot of time people think I, I do and I was like okay I give it a try and so I kind of do basic things from here um the idea is if you practice as much as you practice you're going to be able to make something more fancy more elaborated and you can take it a lot of time or fast uh, no matter what is going to take you time okay because for me at least i like the idea to double um each balloon for the base so the base have two balloons and then if i want to add extra details like flowers a uh, uh, distortion you add you know usually double each petal for a flower in balloon distortion at least so it involves a lot of balloons and you have to consider that time a lot of different techniques that you're going to be learning while, while studying or learning about balloon decor. Uh, then also uh, the materials, you know, it's not just balloons. And then also if it's a delivery, what is going to be your travel expenses? All that depending also on your area. And um, you can always ask all the balloon decorers or all the balloon artists in your area how much they are, you know, like uh, selling. So then you have a better idea how much to charge. Um, I cannot give you that information because depending on you, depending you know, even if you are a super awesome sales you know person, you can probably sell it for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And if you are starting, or you can just do this thinking that oh, it's just for my sister. Of course, you're not gonna charge your sister. You know, so you wanna do it for someone. The only thing is um you know artists and it's a value you have to give it and you will see because it's work so, and it's also strong in, in techniques because doing this your fingers may hurt especially tying double you know the balloon so you're gonna see all those things um if you're new maybe this may be advanced for you so don't give up if you like it you're gonna keep trying and keep practicing because that's the key the secret that you repeat and repeat something, practice and practice. And how makes you practice more is because you like it. You like it, you feel like, yes, you can do it better. You feel, you know, excited, emotion that, yes, you can keep going and it's gonna, uh, the, the product, the ending, you get excited to see how it's gonna look. So all that effort, you know, it's kind of like a whole little story. Every time I make something like this, for me, it's, I'm thinking about the person who is going to receive it, it's going to be excited and it's going to feel, wow, this is amazing. So now, making videos of balloon decor, I always recommend you go in person, trying to go to balloon uh, conventions or balloon workshops that you will learn in person. Why? Because especially all this, it will take very long time. I, you know, I think in four hours, you're going to learn the basics. So this video, I don't think it's gonna be that long. So I'm gonna gonna short and cut, short and cut. But the whole thing is just to give you a little spark there that you can maybe give it a try. And then uh, feel for yourself if you like it or not. Okay, in my case, I know already I prefer balloon twisting. I prefer to be outside twisting balloons for everybody or actually indoors even better. But I love the idea that get a balloon dog, oh, an animal or anything crazy to wear in your head. I like that, the balloon twisting entertainment or balloon twisting at parties. Right? So, uh, for example, what is important for this type of marquees? It's 
a measurement and there's precise measurement boxes like this you can find it on amazon or any place you you see your balloon store i'm sure will have it so you have to kind of like think what is better you have to create quads of uh that's kind of one of the, the ways i think i'm gonna show you today so quads so four balloons the same size so it stands as the base you want that the most stable possible and the way to make it stable is precise in each side of the balloon so here this box uh, i like the idea that the big balloons are going to be 12 inch round but inflated 18 inch round and double inflated so i'm gonna put this i have a little kind of like a table and it's important you have an area where your marquee is going to stand so there is a stable that surface so you can add what is coming on top now when you want to add uh, numbers i recommend you also what get double oh she's turning 20 13 so the numbers 1 3 13 by two at least two ones and two three Okay, because you never know, things may happen, it pop, you always keep it with you. When you are doing the delivery, that's another thing, I just kind of have ideas here to tell you, because then I may forget. <laughs> you um, keep a little back with all the extra balloon. So that is another thing about the whole thing, you see? You have in your delivery and you have an extra a back with little balloons for everything you are making, extra ones, just in case, okay? Uh, what is the other thing? Um, always in that little bag is going to be scissors, tape, glue dot, extra 260 balloons, to uh, that everything that you kind of, what you are learning, because depending on what you are learning and what is your level, probably you will need more things or less, okay? So it's kind of tricky, Cecilia, what are you saying? Because really this is, um, a lot of what I'm saying is just common sense, okay? You want to do something too hard, think about that, okay? If, uh, if you say yes to every, everything a client will ask you and you're not ready yet, think it twice because uh, the, the idea is to just practice and practice and practice. So right now, for example, think this. You're watching this video or maybe because you are looking to do it because you have to do it or because, okay, this is maybe a good time to learn and that will be the best way. And then also, always is a good excuse to give it to someone special, whatever you make. But the, the thing is trying to practice and practice. So I don't think this is for beginners, okay? If you just starting, maybe it's not yet this the design eh? or that tutorial or the video you know, for you, you go first with basics because here in this video, we're gonna make a lot of different techniques, you know, building thing, you know, from distortion, from twisting, from uh, just decoring. So one other important thing quickly I have here, water bases balloons because i'm gonna give this and the client's gonna keep everything i'm not gonna go back to pick up my bases if i'm using you know structures metal and stuff no i'm gonna leave it and so this is a double balloon and inflated with water so then it creates some weight and i'm gonna add it in both sides to the sides okay let's inflate so you kind of like already see what i'm talking about to say quads i think is you have two balloons double okay one inside of the other one you can mix colors and tones if you put different colors you know one inside the other one but in my case i'm going like this this is going to protect you know your balloon especially the base and make it stronger so i'm going to inflate it here um i have this inflator and yes it's not that powerful because it's not exactly professional this one you can find it on amazon but uh, while you're home, I think you can uh, take your time, uh, that's what I'm trying to do, and I think, yeah, it's okay, of course, if you have the professionals, that will be a dream, right, in the future, probably, I will need to get one of those, but one, you know, professional inflator, it's like a thousand dollars, yeah, a hundred, a thousand dollars, or even more, yes, so for now, I'm with this, and it's fine, that's why I always invite you guys, please check below in the description of all my videos, you will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel because it's thanks to your collaboration that this channel can be much better. All donations helps a lot. One thing to cover the next balloon convention I'm going. And my plan is to go next year to Las Vegas to the Yam balloon convention. Maybe it's not gonna be in Las Vegas, maybe somewhere else. So you, I will need, you know, money to get a flight ticket, registration for the convention and all those things. I noticed that 
this YouTube channel that it's gonna kind of like fulfill that purpose in my life to be able to uh, have, you know, at least once a year, a balloon convention, I can make it and then I can grow more in my knowledge. Then I have more, you know, uh, tools to use my, my imagination, my creativity to make more designs for you. So, see, all your help, it's really very well appreciated. Also, I have my Amazon wish list. Check it out. It's over 10 minutes and I haven't even started blowing any balloon for you. But it's really a lot of repetition. Repeat, repeat, repeat. So, what I'm doing here, you're going to repeat it four more times or three more times depending how big you want this to be if you want a two digits number on top so maybe the minimum could be four um, sets of this what I'm gonna show you I'm gonna inflate it now <laughs> it. because it's not a professional inflator look one is bigger than the other one but it's okay my sizer that I have it here already for eight inches it's gonna work. So I'm gonna just let me go a little bit like camera so you can see. Losing the air while trying to pass it through that hole, nice and gentle, and then secure it around my fingers. That's what I do. That's what it can be torturing for your fingers because it's double. But you see some things that, that's why one of the reasons, you know, people workshop this and people hire people that's gonna do all this job. You tied it two times. Cecilia, what you just did, okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm playing with pink coral, uh, peach colors, and blues, and some yellow pastel, okay? That's kind of what I'm going to, because that's the girl's favorite colors. Let's see, let's do it. <laughs> one's bigger it's fine now here is what I mean. what is the precise size so this one it's eight inches now I pass it around my finger while I'm losing the other of the other when I have both the same size what I'm gonna do it's I'm gonna look I create here like crossing then one pass it around and then I tie it you can just use one of the balloons uh, because it's double the way I'm doing it but I like it in some way that this way. There is another practical way a lot of times, just only having one, the balloon inside and tying the balloon from the inside. But I do it this way. Okay. What else here? Now this quad, you have to cross it like this and then kind of go and twist it around one and two times or maybe three, whatever you prefer. Okay. So when you have this, in order to create this design usually this is how it stays when you do some decor but in order to make it stay this way you need here another but smaller the same idea but in a small version and probably if you want this balloon big to touch the next one um and i'm gonna show you so i kind of already have to be working so you have you have to create this now sometimes you decide these to be together. It's up to you. If you want this balloon in together, not a space here. So make sure this is bubbles here that you're going to inflate later with the five inch rounds are four or even less, 3.5 inches in round inflated. In my case, I did it with, uh, with four. But I'm going to now uh, show you what I'm talking about. So you're going to create this and then I'm creating a quad like this. It is five inch rounds inflated four inches the way I'm doing it. But remember, as small you do this, it's uh, five inch rounds, you're um, gonna be able to make the bigger ones to be touching and these ones, the small ones be hiding. It's up to you what you prefer. In my case, I give it eight uh, inflated eight inches round, the 12 inch rounds, and this one inflated um, four inches. So it's a five inch balloon inflated four inch rounds and you notice oh but this there's another trick you may use glue dots but i'm in a very windy place and i'm probably going to use glue dash you know but if i can attach it with this type of tips some balloons is going to stay i think more secure okay 
So that's what I'm one of these. If you want having more, it's okay. You can have another one with linking. But the ones at least that is gonna have kind of like going in front, it's gonna be with a tip. And that's something you decide if you wanna do it or not. Okay. Um, what to do here? It's you just have to connect it, you know, and kind of like one on top of the other one. So these ones follow right in between, you see? And that what is gonna create the effect is them that the next one is gonna be right in the same level. So I'm gonna put the camera how Cecilia, how you wanna put the camera? So here. And this is um something I'm gonna show you there. Okay, so how to do that? I like to use that even the, the balloon, you know, I have to I like to use them. Then I like double, so that makes things the connection is stronger. So double of the nozzles of the five inch round, two of the nozzles, pull it, and then here also pull it. I'm gonna take off this so you don't get confused. And grab these two and tie them. Now you, you know, balloon twister thing have um, developed a strong fingers or muscles in the fingers because it's not like that easy that part you need to put your strength but that is give it a perfect you know connection and it's there now i want all the five inch round to be looking in the front because the front is going to be like this and that's what i want people to see and here's going to be some uh flowers or whatever i want to add but they have a connection there so i have it like this you can change the pattern. Look, you want maybe other colors in the front. You can twist it. I like kind of like mixing to make it fun, but really you can make it something, for example, like this and change a little bit the pattern. You see, you just twist and... So for me right now, that's not important. It's all about your taste or what you are in the mood to do. Okay, so you have this, okay? Then um, one, two, three connections. Um, it, to the sides, I think it's a good idea to add the water base, and that's it. You can add more, but I'm gonna add just a water base there, okay? So, what to do here? What do you wanna add? I think I would like to add first the numbers. The numbers, because the numbers, in this case, is 13. I, that's important, you know? And then from there, uh, my idea is just pass, put around things. So, I'm telling you, I like, and I recommend you always at least two of the same number, okay? So I'm um, just in case you, okay? So that's kind of the other thing when you buy and you put a price, remember, you're gonna be buying milers double. And even if you're not gonna use it, you have to, you know, consider it as a backup, it's always good to have, so it's an, you still have to buy it. So, so these balloons are 34 inch. And why I like that, because it, it may be windy and it's much easier for me to move it and fix it, fit everything in my car. Okay, you can buy four inch numbers, but this is for me better in the way that it's easier to deliver it. Okay, okay, so now, the idea to blow this, I recommend you manually. You can always go start with electric and then go manually the last part. But manually is the way that you're gonna be feeling. You're gonna be feeling what you're doing, like because the thing is, you will feel oh, it's getting tired. And um, look, I'm here in a basement or in a in a room that is kind of keep at cool temperature. But well, as soon as I'm outside and it's summer, it's gonna start deflating. Or actually, I'm sorry, expanding. It's gonna start expanding inside and it may explode. So I recommend you don't to, don't inflate it too tight. Okay, so I'm keep going and I feel that it still has some wrinkles because you cannot, um, you know, like not too tight, not too shrink. So it's me. You are already kind of feeling it. I'm gonna give it a little bit more and that's it. I don't want it too tight. Okay, so there we go. It's look, I even have here some wrinkles and that's good because Yes, in my car it's gonna be AC, but as soon as it get out, it's gonna expand again. And then I give it to the client and she is gonna keep it in this probably temperature, regular temperature. So it's gonna look like this, okay? So that's what I recommend you, you, um, you decide. 
what to do here in order to attach the number one okay this is the one <laughs> also make sure you're not dyslexic or it happened to me before i put the wrong the numbers wrong <laughs> so that's gonna be like ah so make sure you pay attention on those details okay you just grab any uh balloon to 60 or 160 whatever you have with you i have uh white uh but if it, the base is more pink so i recommend you go with pinks okay or with the same tone it's gonna help uh, so i think that is kind of like this tone look so and just you can always lose the air here and two, 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 two. now do you need all this that long not really okay but i already have it so i'm gonna use the middle why because then go down and one can wrap everything the other one can be holding another thing so just in case i'm gonna go this way i'm gonna pass it through here and then look it's like i put it in the middle no like this and i start rolling it all together with a number okay rolling it and then tie it okay 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 there we go double so you have there the connection now i'm gonna put it uh, maybe right here now this is something i should pay attention uh, and each number may have their own challenge so think about that okay each number may have their own challenge so one is gonna be right there so i'm gonna start adding it i'm sorry guys that um you may see that it's not that good the camera but really that's what this is just a little sneak peek and so you connect it right here or what do you think like should i connect it right here and well i'm gonna connect it right here in the middle of here in the middle of the big balloons so i'm gonna pull pass this around mm -hmm. pass this the other one around on the other side and then you have this too in case you always can add some little extra balloons little ones around in order to make things more stable Okay, these kind of like two strings. So I'm gonna leave it here for a moment, like here, um, some somewhere. Like you know, it's not exactly yet tight, but it's there. Okay, it's there. Now I'm gonna inflate the other number. Okay, the same. let's see. Um, uh, I I'll hope come you back. can see what I'm doing. Probably, well, it's just my eyes. So you see it upside down, but I'm seeing it correctly. I don't wanna make any mistakes. <laughs> Look how it's kind of crooked because the connection, the strongest for to tie the number three, always make that inclination. But you can always force this a little bit to put it together. How? Well, there is a lot of different ways. And if you are in a place that is not that windy, that is awesome because that's no problem. Glue dots. In my case, it's a place that is very windy. So I can attach this kind of glue dots it's, it's simple and i'm put, gonna put a bunch in there where i see the connection okay and let's see if it can handle it can let it go stay okay but it's gonna help me probably momentaneously while i am uh, gonna add other details other ideas okay so i want to make it strong because i prefer no suffering later so i'm Kind of like having like this, I see the connection and there is where I'm going to put a bunch. Just like that. It's like a lot of this right in one place as much as I can. And that way I'm using, it's not just only little one. Okay, so now accommodate it the way I want it to be. It's going to stay. You give it a little bit of pressure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is going to give you a moment to then two balloons this is a 160 i squish all the air up oh you see it's gonna kind of loose for a moment but that is gonna be kind of like this look passing it around so you decide what is better for you and you don't want this too much pressure but at the same time you want this to stay together why for me it's a way to go so don't tie it too much and i make it kind of the same color so you see it's two so then it's not too tight but it's gonna keep it there you know that moment to keep holding it and it's the same color so it's not going to be the noticeable okay let me see if with this light you can see better <laughs> let's see well it's there it's there and it's holding the balloon so that's good now you can always cover it and this this kind of uh, other ideas let's see 
I'm really guys trying and do my best. Yeah? So be patient because I know that the best way to learn this is be in person in a balloon workshop. Okay, so it looks better, it's sturdy. I add a little balloon, the same idea I did with the numbers and the smaller just to the side that says happy birthday. Now from here, what are the things you can add? Uh, for example, if you make these little flowers, okay, these little flowers is one balloon to 60 and even the center is the same balloon and then you can just use those little, let's move here lower, those little linkings to attach it, okay, that can be the idea. But you can also add something bigger. And this is something I'm gonna show you very quickly. It's the idea to do balloon distortion. And there's many different ways, okay? The thing is, when you don't see what is inside, how it's moving, better just mm, mm, kind of like inflate it and twist it. I'm gonna show you this way. It's not or original, I've seen it on Instagram. There's a lot of balloon uh, ideas to make flowers with balloon distortion. So this is one of those. Um, so you just kind of have it and then you need one more at least or two more. So I'm going to show you quickly how I did that. And so then from here you will see what is balloon, um, what is balloon distortion. So you need a balloon 260, fold it in half, blue because the flower is going to be blue, only because I want to play with the colors of the person's favorite colors. And this is a balloon chrome 11 or 12 inch round. So I'm going to put it in there, halfway. And a lot of you already know what I'm doing, just in case. So I'm going to inflate first that round balloon. So I'm going to do that. And then I inflate it. And then I kind of like nine inches, if it's possible. So then there's give it a space there to inflate the second balloon, the 260. Now that's what I'm doing, inflate the 260. And I don't see it, but you will feel when you reach the top, the, the most that you can. You feel it here. And then you pull the side that you haven't inflated, the end of the balloon to 60, and then lose a little bit of air and then tie it. Why? Because then you don't want things to tie. Okay, tie it, tie it three times and then cut the excess. And then it's just start losing air. So while that process happens, make sure you kind of uh, start bending the loop because that's what it is, a big loop. You want to bend it, hold it and bend it. Look, it's unbending. You don't see it. Okay, so that's why this is not really the class of distortion, but I'm telling you how I'm doing it. I'm kind of bending the big loop that it was there while do, losing the air and passing it all the way through where it's the same balloon to 60 while losing the air. So be nice and gentle. And you will see it's coming in between. It's all about also this. this I, I'm trying to tell you this is going to be much better when you are in a class in person because you will need to practice and practice this. Okay, so you have a very interesting shape and this is already calling attention and in a chrome version, it's really cool. You can always make it better, you can always make it different, but the idea is you grab it with the other one, tie it, don't want it too tight, but tie it, and then connect all these, you see, flats, and this one, another one to make it more you know like fancy so for me i like people to see the bumpy part on that the, they want that to be the face that people's going to be looking at so how i want that to stay so now this is another cool idea how you want that to stay well you want it to stay and and that's going to be the trick is to put something here to give pressure and give also stability that's why i'm thinking what it could be it can be one of these flowers okay it can be also another also technique I showed you before. If you have chrome blue, great. Let me see if I have it. Because you have to work with what you have with you. And, yep, I don't have it. Uh, I don't have chrome blue, but I have this light blue. And it's the color she likes, so that's good. So I'm going to add this. And this is what I'm going to do just to create a base there. I'm going to... Like a finger tail, okay. Let's see. I know you are like, Cecilia, this is crazy. The camera, okay. So then I'm gonna make a loop like three. You don't want that this big because you want more people to see the whole in effect of this flower. So three finger pedal, and then here is gonna make a bubble, another three finger pedal, and that's how you're gonna keep going. A bubble, another three finger pedal, 
and then a bubble. Twist it very well, because you don't want the loop to get untwisted. And keep repeating until you have probably six, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, and end up with a bubble and close it. So that is gonna create some air pressure. And all this you lose the air. So now you have kind of a base there. And what to put inside? Well, I like the idea. You know, most of the time I really play with this idea, but I'm gonna do this and then look, look at this. It's another cool design and it's just bubbles, bunch of bubbles. And if you add more, it looks fun coming out from there. So it's something happy, okay? It's a lot of things that you can create and do. So how I did those little bubbles? Oops. I'm just gonna grab a balloon, halfway inflated. This is a 160, they, they comex the brand. I make bubbles, like sets of four bubbles first. And it, it can be mix match, so the sizes, you know, small, it's okay, but doesn't have to be exactly precise. And then the other loop can be five bubbles, it's okay. And you have to keep repeating until you use the whole balloon. Now, because I know this is gonna be the third balloon I'm using, so I'm not gonna use it all because I need a string that helps me to touch with everything else. So I'm gonna just go with one more and that's it. One more little bubble and that's it. I hope I have enough um, for the tip to pass everything around. So I'm leaving a long tip only because I want to with this grab all this. The same idea, see? Pass it around, so securing all together in some way. Okay, and this one too. So the more, the better, because it's the cows that you're gonna make people think that looks so cool. Okay, make sure this tip is long enough. If it's not long enough, don't worry. At least secure all these sets, and then, you know what? Grab another one. And this is the best part, it can be the color you want. So if you want this light blue, that's great. Nobody's gonna see it, it's gonna be just trapped and hiding in between all these bubbles and trying to kind of figure it out a center you like a center pass it through here to the hole that you create okay and that is already in creating a base i think it's stable enough look to put it right here so things doesn't have to make a mess right now a, a sense that make some pressure pass it around go back if you feel like oh yeah i want to this to be secure enough go back Pass it around the little bubbles, you see, and that creates something that keeps the flower more open. And remember, things doesn't have to be perfect, but we try and do our best. Okay, so now I have all this still long string. This I'm going to accommodate it, but I think it's better if I accommodate it when it's there. Okay, everything plays here a roll to make it look amazing. So. You have this, now I'm gonna touch it where I think in the center will be cool to cover the connection, okay? So now, um, if you think you don't want to kind of make too much pressure into those balloons, you're gonna always use the bottom, okay? And then uh, here maybe, grab just a little bubble. Any color, nobody's gonna see the bubble. So in my case, I'm gonna go with um, this. Okay, it's a five inch round. I wanted to use it for other things, I remember, not wait. That one I'm using it for another thing. So I'm looking for another color. Oh, Cecilia, dime como ser para saber vivir sin ti. Cecilia, I have this too, because uh, it's a nice color too. Okay, so. You don't need much, just something there to give it balance. And, and what I'm doing is you play it very little, okay? And leaving that little, like three inches, I'm gonna split it in half. So to create something that this can stay, okay? And then I'm gonna pass it around here. So I pull all this and that is what I play to pass it around. So you 
have to figure it out the best way. Feel it. You, you have to feel the balloons. Yes, that's part of uh, the practice. You see the experience. It's all about you feeling it. Um, now I'm trying to tie. That's why. And so I'm tying without really looking. So I'm going to have to make sure I tied it at least three times. And again, you don't want to tie, but at the same time, don't think that, oh yeah, you can leave nothing because uh, it can be too wiggly. So it's all about feeling it, you see? Now, you feel it, and now you accommodate things nice and gentle. You need a lot of patience because things happen with time, okay? So now look how it's looking. And it seems it's like better, crazy. I think you see the front. Yeah, you, see how crazy, cool? you see how it's been I done. I think this is a very already cool thing. You know how much it takes. So now from here, what we're gonna do, it's um you can always kind of put things together here, these two. How the same idea we did with the strings or with just glue dots. Uh, we're gonna add some little flowers, tape it around there. So that's gonna also be hiding. So let's see what happens. You see, I'm, I like to experiment. I like nothing is exactly, things may change. So that's the cool part. Have fun when you're doing this. Have fun, enjoy it. Another, uh, I'm gonna add these little flowers, okay? And then probably I'm gonna see um, another little flower okay, distortion. Okay, I'm here. Um, and that's look it. what I've been working on. So look at those cute little stars. And again, um, I want, better for me it's using balloons you know and uh, then glue dots like i secure better things with balloons or maybe you know there's a technique that i sh i don't know if i showed you before but it's using tape you know and create like a hashtag and from that connection the hashtag is the base to attach a balloon and then wrap it around anything you want to put on top a mylar balloon or any other balloon that doesn't have a linking but mylars especially so look at that and and that's kind of cool because what I'm using here, it's this, this type of uh, hooks that it came in the Mylar balloon. Now it's not that strong, but this is very little and it's better than glue dots. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Then from here, it's nothing more than just the flowers using the linking balloon. But there, I'm just kind of thinking by balance, I'm thinking there is a happy birthday there. So it's gonna be there another distortion, but smaller. Uh, using yellow pastels and it's going to be this type of five inch round with a half of a 160 and creates this shape you know and then put it together same idea but to there so let's see maybe instead of six it's going to be only five so then doesn't look that elaborated let's see it's kind of hard to film because this is going to be super long if I film everything. But I just give you step by step. And then remember, the weights are going to be to the sides, but I'm going to do that at the end. 